A group recently traveled from Washington to rural Pennsylvania to learn more about cover crops and how they are used. USDA and EPA officials learned about planting techniques and different applications of cover crops from extension officials and employees of Cover Crop Solutions who hosted the event. Different kinds of cover crops and cover crop mixes were on display, and a dirt pit displayed how roots pull nutrients toward the surface. USDA Undersecretary for Natural Resources and Environment Ann Mills said learning opportunities like this can help USDA employees gain a better understanding of the growing cover crop trend. Not just boots on the ground, but actually cover crops in your hands. Uh, and to understand all the different types of cover crops, to learn that a monoculture of cover crops may not be as good as a, a seed mix when you're trying to get a lot of different effects. Not to mention understanding it boots on the ground and your fingers in, in the soil, but also spend some time with people who are actually using them, the farmers. and to to see their excitement. One of those farmers is Steve Groff, owner of the Holtwood, Pennsylvania farm that hosted the event and co-founder of Cover Crop Solutions, whose tillage radish is one of their most popular offerings as it demonstrates its value in soil health. Groff said events like this are important ways for USDA and EPA officials to learn the benefits of cover crop usage. The cover crop movement has been a grassroots effort. Uh, it's really been driven by farmers. Now we have uh, the USDA, NRCS, and other various government organizations that are saying, hey, I think there's something here, I think we better support it. Groff said he hopes farmers and government officials left the event at his picturesque Pennsylvania farm with an increased knowledge base on cover crops that will help further the growing trend nationwide. Reporting for AgriPulse, I'm Spencer Chase.